I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. Now, I wish I'd said that, but in reality, it was the late, great Steve Jobs in a 1995 interview. 20 years later, that observation still holds good. The germination of an idea is the beginning of an innovator's journey, not its end. Let's continue our journey through the Intel and DST Innovate for Digital India Challenge. India is synonymous with innovation. The zeal to improve, invent and inspire has led to a startup boom in the country. Innovators aren't restricted by geography. For the IFDI challenge, ideas came in from every corner of India. From the national capital, from a technical institute in Orissa, from the geographical heart of the nation and from a tiny town in Karnataka. Department of Science and Technology, Intel, CIE, Pune, all these entrepreneurs from across India, um, us here at UC Berkeley, it's creating a great environment for these entrepreneurs to solve problems and to prosper. Innovation is essential. Uh, innovation is an ongoing process, it's never you know, steady. Uh, we believe that uh, technology has a fundamental role to play uh, in terms of changing people's life for the better. Uh, and we want to make sure that enough people are able to leverage technology to change their lives better. This is the College of Engineering Pune, or COEP, where some of India's most innovative geniuses next door are busy creating the future. From what I have seen of the top 20 solutions, I think there are some ideas in there which can be completely game-changing for India. We have to shortlist it down to top 10, and then in Jan, we'll be ready to come up with the three best ideas, which the government will invest, and they will invest in equity, so that you can actually take those solutions to market and make a difference. All the teams participating in the Intel and DST Innovate for Digital India Challenge are moving one step closer to unleashing their products into the marketplace, speeding up the digitization of India and finding success for themselves as entrepreneurs. So how can their ideas help usher in a brand new dawn? <music> Every year, the onset of winter in North India means an instant spike in pollution levels. India's capital, New Delhi, has been called the most polluted city in the world by the World Health Organization. But while most would sit back in dismay when confronted by such a statistic, a team of researchers from the National Institute of Technology in Rorkela decided to spring into action. We are deploying our different small, small devices around the city, which will basically monitor pollution for your city. So you'll be getting uh, pollution information at your hand so that you can take decisions in real time. Suppose uh, you are an asthma patient or a, or a patient who is suffering respiratory diseases or your child is suffering some kind of disease like that. So you can take decisions before you actually went outside. The Orashore device is capable of monitoring carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ozone and many other harmful gases present in our environment. We have also a citizen's device. So this device will also contribute to the smart city network. If at least 100 people buy this device in a city, so there will be around 100 or 1000 data points. So 1000 data points contributes a lot of data to a city network. And all this data can be combined and churned and given back to the government for better governance, for sustainable growth of the city. So government can plan for better traffic. Pollution can be reduced by taking precautionary steps before actually it goes up to the level. The smart cities of tomorrow will need solutions like Orishore to provide their citizens with healthy environs in which to live. When talking about smart city, our technology comes first because we are creating an information network, the monitoring network. So that will boost the smart city. But monitoring the environment is just one part of the wellness puzzle. Medical science has advanced greatly, enabling the early diagnosis of many diseases. But though our biggest cities may be equipped with state-of-the-art healthcare facilities, what about remote and sparsely populated parts of India? 
where healthcare infrastructure is either rudimentary or absent. Densely Asoplus is a device you know, that can measure your basic health parameters that can give you an assessment of your own health so that you know you have an early mechanism of detecting things. The Asha Plus device is portable and can be taken from door to door measuring a patient's vitals. The device has the ability to act as a stethoscope, measure blood pressure, perform pulse oximetry, conduct ECGs and take a patient's temperature. It also has a Bluetooth interface that allows the device to communicate with smartphones. Primary intention of ma us making this device was we can enable basic care services to the, even the remotest possible location. So for example, a local village health worker could actually use this device at the village, get the data of the person and transmit it back to the doctor. Doctor from the remote primary health centers can actually look at these readings which are coming from the ASHA workers of the patient and then they can do the diagnosis. So they get early data basically, you know, not at the late stage when they're actually sick, they go to the doctor. They get early access to that information. Remote areas don't just lack access to good healthcare facilities. Quality educational institutes are few and far between and digital educational infrastructure is virtually non-existent. Students often have to travel large distances to reach their schools, which are often no more than basic brick and no mortar structures. There's a crying need for a digital intervention. I'm Budadeh Burman uh, from Forest Learning. I was born and brought up in Leh Ladakh. Uh, it was a pretty difficult terrain, though, as you imagine. So I did my schooling and everything from there. So after finishing my 10th and I came to Delhi, it was a shocker for me. Though I was in the same standard, but the level of education that student is getting in big schools in Delhi versus a school in Leh Ladakh or a remote area or versus rural areas is pretty, pretty different. We thought why not to do something for a rural school, build some technology which is already available and, and make it as a lightweight, portable thing. And now our value proposition is like we can conduct digital classes in the middle of nowhere. This is Tigra village in an interior area of Gurgaon and the digital technologies of the third millennium are now beginning to reach even this little government school. The forest cell box is portable, it is solar powered and it contains hardware, software and educational content. Now we will test maths. What is 4 plus 2? 6. Right answer. Our innovation addresses the lack of digital infrastructure in education and skill training in rural India. Uh, the 4SL box enables you to create digital classrooms in the remotest parts of the country without the need for electricity, internet or even buildings. So, Mahatma Gandhi ka janam kaha hua tha? Jisko answer pata hath khada karein. Dekho, char, char answer hai, Jamnagar, Porbandar, Vadodara, Vapi. Porbandar. Porbandar? Achcha. Dekhte Porbandar hai ki nahi? Sahi jawab. 4SL connects to a long range antenna that creates a Wi Fi zone that extends for around a kilometer, enabling students to access digital content easily. Sudar to aayega bachcho ke jeevan mein jab inko kuch dikhaoge, inke saamne kuch rakhoge. So, if you have any technique, you can see the same thing. So, you can see the same thing. I am going to tell you what you are doing. I am going to tell you what you are doing. We hope to enhance the literacy and skill levels of millions of rural youth living in the villages of India.
Now, it's very easy to be cynical about the problems we see all around us. But an innovator actually takes action to try and make things better. We'll take a quick break right now. We'll be back with two more stories about some individuals that did just that. Stay tuned to the Intel and DST Innovate for Digital India Challenge on India Innovates.